Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the podcast. This is Strength for Today's Man. We are in volume 94. If this is your first time being here, welcome to the show. If this is your first time listening, welcome as well. Please thank the person that invited you to the show. And if you found me on your newsfeed, man, what a great day for you, huh? Welcome to the show, guys. I want to go to 1 John 2.15. Because I know there's a lot of distraction in the world today, and I think this is a good scripture to read when it comes to worldliness and leaving the world alone and those things that might distract you, some of the people that might distract you. So it says, do not love this world nor the things it offers you, for when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. What's distracting you? I think that's a good title. What's distracting you? And whatever is distracting you, you need to find a way of leaving it alone. Just put it down and walk away. Okay, now what if it's a person? What if the person in your life is a loved one or a family member? How are they distracting you? Are they distracting you? There's a lot of things that are placed in our life that are there to distract us. And it's important for us to identify those things that are distracting us. We need to identify the people that have come along that are there as a hindrance and a distraction. And those are the kind of people we need to shy away from. We need to wean ourselves away from them because they're there to hinder our growth. They're there to hinder our production. They're there to hinder our path. They're there to hinder our purpose in life. So we need to be very careful in some of the people that we allow into our inner circle. Not everyone is qualified to be in your inner circle. Not everyone is supposed to be in your fab five. Not everyone is supposed to be in your top 10 list. That's why it's a top 10 list because you have the top 10 people that are supposed to be in your life in your top 10. So what is distracting you today? I know there are so many things in the world that's enticing. And rightly so, because think about it. We were created in God's image. So we're creative beings. We were created to create. So there's a lot of things even man creates that can be a distraction. There are a lot of things that we create that can hinder our growth. There are a lot of things in life that we do and we things that we have that can cause distraction in our lives. Think about those things. Think about those people. You might have to write them down, write a list. Okay, here we go. If you don't have one of my journals, you need to go ahead and pick you up one of those journals. Here's the link down below and it'll be in the description where you can pick up a journal for him and a journal for her. These are some awesome journals to where you can keep track of some marvelous things. You can write down your goals, your dreams. You can write down people that are distracting you. You can write down the things that have been distracting you. So those are great journals to use. Great plug, I know. But think about some of the things in your life right now that have been created to distract you. In a lot of ways, they reflect the opposite of the character of God that he is trying or he wants to produce in us. We were created in his image. The character that God is trying to produce in us is being distracted from some of the things that we have created for ourselves. Think about some of the things that we've created for ourselves, things that we don't even have to have, things that we don't even have to do but we have allowed those things and those people into our lives and now it's become a distraction. What are some of the things that are leading you away from God right now? Who are some of the people in your life right now that's leading you away from God? You know, you already know who they are. You already know what they are. I don't even have to go on any further because you already know. 
So being that you know, what are you going to do about it? How are you going to alter and adjust your life around the people that you know are distracting you and some of the things that are distracting you? So instead of thinking about all that is distracting you, now I know I said think about it, but instead of using most of your time to think about all the negative, think about all the distractions, think about all the people that are hindering you, think about all the things that are distracting you right now, instead of just sitting there and pondering about it, how about this? Think about the love of God. That's a good thought. Think about what it would look like for you to be so filled with the love of God that you wouldn't even have enough room in your heart for the things of this world. Because see, now you're filling your heart and your mind with the love of God instead of the people that are distracting you, instead of the people that are hindering you, instead of the things that you've allowed in your life to distract you. Now your mind and your heart is so filled with the love of God, you don't have any room for anything else. Everything else is just being pressed out. So when you allow God in, his spirit will press things out of your life. That's why it's so important for you to get more of God in your life. The more God, the less issues. The more God, the less drama. The, the more of God, the less dumb stuff that is allowed into your life. All that stuff is just moved out of the way because you allow that void to be filled with more of God's love. The goal is not to escape. That's not the goal. I just want to escape. I just want to get away. I just got to go away. Sometimes I feel like that. Sometimes it's like, man, I just want to get away. I just want to go and just, just do nothing. I just, I don't want to hear nobody. I don't want to see nobody. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to be in a place of solitude to where I can hear God and hear his voice. You ever get like that sometimes? It gets like that sometimes, but it's not to say, okay, let's just escape any and everybody. That only produces fear and separation. Maybe not through you, but other people that you're trying to separate from. <laughs> it's just like, where are you going? Why are you leaving? That we don't want to produce fear and separation. The goal is to be confronted with the challenges of the world and not be phased by them or at least controlled by them. So today, as we wrap this up, what can you do today to increase God's love in your life that will suppress everything else that's not supposed to be in your heart out, that just moves it out the way, that just totally just separates you from the people that are distracting you from the things that are distracting you? That's a good question. That's a good homework assignment. Here's your homework assignment. What can you do today to increase God's love in your life to where everything else that's not like him, that's distracting you, will totally be pushed out of your life? And I'm going to close with this. God, prepare my heart to be secure in you. Help me to resist the temptations of the world that lead me away from you. What's distracting you? It's time to leave the world alone. This is Strength for Today's Man, Volume 94. Thank you guys for being here today. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow on the next podcast. But before you go, subscribe to the channel, like the channel, and share it with somebody else. Why? Because you don't want to keep it to yourself. You want to share the wealth. You guys be blessed.